With Hotwax Commerce as an order management system, every change made in an order in Shopify or otherwise has to be synced with Hotwax. In this video, I will give you a quick demo of how when a change is made in an order in Shopify, it is synced in Hotwax through refresh order functionality. For this demo purpose, we have this order with one item and I need to change the order item in this order. Let's first see this order in Hotwax Commerce. Here we have 1651. This is the order. It's in created state with one Grayson crew neck sweatshirt. Let's make some changes. Okay, I have just added a product and I'll update the order. This is now updated. Now we have two items in an order. We'll go to the Hotwax Commerce OMS and here you will see a button of refresh order. To be noted is a point that refresh order functionality only works before reservations have been made against an order item. If there are two items in an order and reservation has been made for one item, then refreshed order functionality would not work. Also, it is recommended to not use this function when there are pre-order items in an order. Now, we'll click on refresh order and scroll down. So, you will see that this item, that earlier order 10173, that is the Hotwax internal ID, this order is now cancelled. Let's copy this order ID. Go back on the sales order find page. And search this product. You will see there is an old version of the order that was earlier placed. And now the new version with two order items. Refresh order functionality cancels the order placed which means that the Hotwax internal ID or the Hotwax order is cancelled and the order is again imported as a new order. This is how you can sync changes from Shopify to Hotwax. The changes that can be made in an order in Shopify are address, phone number, email details and order items. You can delete an order item, increase the quantity, decrease the quantity or add a new item. For more information on Hot Wax Commerce, visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.